The uh, hunt. Yeah. The hunt for Bovada is now um, eye poker. It, pull, it pulls the hands in as eye poker hands instead of um, stars format hands. Mm -hmm. So I now have a new hero. Cool. Um, so since you've been um, banking and doing quite a bit better, you think uh, those guys will move you up? Um, yeah, I think so, yeah. Um, I talked to Mark, uh, yesterday or two days ago, and, uh, he's all, he's, like, uh, wanting me to move up as soon as I get some scores, so. Okay, so, hopefully this qualifies. Yeah, I think I'll, I think I'll probably at least move up maybe to, like, 30s, um, and then, and then, um, you know, after a few more scores, maybe go up to 50s and stuff, but. Cool. Okay, I don't know. I'm just gonna have to look around until I find this thing. Uh, I said you redeemed yourself, but if you take five minutes to find this fucking thing, I'm gonna be pissed. I think I think I found it. I think this is it right here. You won the uh, last no. hand, so that's usually it. You won with an ace high flush with ace seven. Yeah, but it's only it's only uh. Let me just double check real quick. Yeah, what the hell? Why is it why is it the last hand like five handed? <laughs> this doesn't that doesn't Ah uh, shit. There's a you have tags on, that's why. Right? Ooh, good call. Yes. I'm the man. No, still twenty six hands. Uh oh. That looks better though. Yes. It's do last 100 hands, and then invert the time, yeah. and then replay all. Yeah, this is it. Okay, invert the time. Oh, uh, so you, you, okay. Yep, you got, got it, it now, yeah. Hopefully we get to see this king cool. six hand, king three hand. Uh, you're gonna miss it, uh, cause it was eight handed. <coughs> you're just, so you're just gonna see me, um... Moving on after that. Okay. But this will be this should be good though. Dude, is this the HUD you fucking play with? It's... You hate this HUD, don't you? That's <laughs> you made it uglier somehow. <laughs> I why, haven't changed it. Why? Yeah, you made this gray. There's this big gray block now because it's Bovada or something. Oh yeah, maybe I don't. Oh yeah, it might have been a different color. Can, just change the color. Gray is not good, man. Nobody likes gray. What color? What color should it be? Anything. Just black, like. Anything but gray. Like what, if, what if it was the gray part? What if that was black, like the rest of the HUD, but the text was gray instead of black? Sure. So. No. That work? Doesn't. No. No gray. No gray you, you hate gray. Nobody likes gray. Uh, it's not even funny. <laughs> Especially that gray. It's not a good gray. It's not a good gray, I agree. It's like Windows it's 95 color gray. It is, it's like, uh... Yeah. It's an ugly gray. So... I, uh, been just been raised here, I think that's the best play of aces. Um... Limping makes any sense, because I haven't done it yet. And it would look suspicious. I don't think folding's a good play either. Yeah, I think we can rule out folding. Um, min raise is five suited, next hand, flop an ace. Uh, I just had to check with backdoor flush draw, backdoor straight draw, top pair. Um, did you think I he think was likely to bet at the time, or what did you think he was going to do? Um, I think. I felt that, yeah, I mean, I thought that he would bet any value and also might might stab with, with like, king high, jack 10 sort of hands. That's awesome. Um, some of the time, so I th thought that checking would be the best. If you can get him to bet yeah. with zero equity, that's really nice for you. Yeah. For sure. Um, yeah, so, seven of diamonds comes on the turn, really good turn for us. 
gives us enough flush draw. We still have top pair. Um, I think checking again is pretty good. Yep. Uh, let villain barrel off. We do check. He checks back. Um, and now after he checks back turn on this King River, I think we we should be betting uh, really small to try to value target like small pocket pairs and just any any single pair of hands that he has that are less than an ace. Um, mm -hmm. King's not really the greatest card for us to get value on, but I think we have to bet to get any value. I agree. Um, go 18. I like the sizing. Perfect. I think it's pretty for what I'm targeting. Yep, I like Get a fold. Boom. In raise. Why are you raising? This table was... What's that? Why are you raising A6? Because this table is just atrocious. Um, like, this whole table, the whole final table, I... You'll see. Like, I get away with so much bullshit on this table. Um... Like, at sh like even when people get short, they're not three bet jamming at all. Like, like this, like I, the guy on my right, his like pre flop raising range is just absurdly tight, and and a lot of the guys are the same to a lesser degree, where they're like they're not going to reach up on me light at all. Mm -hmm. Um, so I just get steals a lot, and even when I get flatted, I just see that and take it down a ton. Big blinds. Um, Button seems like a really solid player, though. Uh, why do you say that? I was just fucking with you. Because uh, he flats with, like... What's that? I was just fucking with you, because he flats off four bigs. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, exactly, yeah. Um, so ace high on a pair of board, I'm just going to be c-betting. And, and he folds flat. Nice. Yeah, he folds slop with anything, which is t pretty bad. Uh, what do you think um, of stealing yes. on this next hand, like with this guy in the big blind on your right? So very next hand. Yeah, I think we should be stealing. Uh, whoops, there we go. I think we should be stealing very wide. Oh, we're in the big blind next hand somehow. That doesn't make sense. Did I? S you might have skipped two. I think it's it skipped a hand somehow. Oh well. Anyway, um, I think this is a pretty good spot to either defend. Well, I think we could defend or shove. I actually like defending better. I think it's uh, it's interesting because if you shove's definitely a good play, but it's like everyone at this table is awful. So I don't know if you <laughs> you want to take that play. Yeah, like, do I really want to put it put that much up to variance when I can just. I mean, going post-flop is going to be a good play, too, I think, and, um, yeah, I don't know, I'd rather, I'd rather pass on the variance of the jam here, um, I, I actually really like that play, just given how bad everyone is, I think you should full flop, for sure, though, like, it's not a good yeah, word for I, you. Yep, I agree. Floating here is not going to be, not going to work out, usually, um, Shows what I know. Oh no, you lost. Yeah, he has no. He has, he has a nine. Um, I mean, I think he can see bet a lot of stuff that we're that we're ahead of right now. But all that all the stuff that he's see betting that is is no pair still has really good equity versus our threes. No, you know, no turns are good for us except for a three. <laughs> yeah, uh, um, I mean, even his like really bad stuff doesn't have that bad of equity. You know, a seven like you aren't crushing. Yeah. I think you. Ha I think a seven has twenty seven, twenty eight percent equity versus you, which is yep. like one of his worst hands. And eight seven, a seven, like they're all doing decent versus you. Yeah. Um, the nice thing is he's gonna be. He's just gonna be checking down after he see bets with a hand like this. But it doesn't really matter for us with threes. Mm -hmm. That's like not really a benefit. Um, mm hmm. Um, I think this should be a 3-bet. Um, I kind of like non-all-in 3-bet and just 3-bet folding. Yep. Uh, yep, so that's what I do. He flats. I don't love 3-betting there unless you think he's opening wide, but you do you have to call uh, the guys he is. behind? He is opening pretty wide. You have to call the small blind? Yeah, and don't love it, yeah. So what about this argument? Uh, this is the one guy who could bust you in the tournament. 
Uh, yeah. Um, that's definitely valid. Uh, I think that he's not going to forbet bluff ever. Uh, I think if he forbets, we obviously just have a super easy fold. Um, I think that I am confident enough in my post slot play that I'm not going to go broke even when I flop an ace. Uh, not always if he has a better ace. Uh, and can you? I think that I can. All right. So here's the question: Can you think of a and how many better hands can you think of to three bet than ace four offsuit? Um, ace four suited ace. Three suited, ace five suited, uh, ace six and seven and eight off suit. Um, yeah. I guess that's there's probably a few more, but like the better aces, I like just flatting. Yeah. I don't really like betting those. Um, king queen, king jack, I like flatting. Okay. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of better aces to three to three bet. Mm -hmm. um, I can think of some maybe. more. I think suited connectors are pretty debatable. Suited kings are pretty debatable. As well. I, yeah. Yep. I, I agree. Yep. Uh, pocket pairs, I think, are pretty interesting because you can call off the small blind, and having that equity is pretty nice. Yeah, that's true. Yep. Uh, so we probably named a hundred yeah. plus combos of hands. I don't know if the uh, blocker is. Hello. Hello. Are yeah. you there? Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Um, do you want to talk more about preflop ranges, or do you want? To just... uh, no, I would just say like if unless you really like the spot, I wouldn't throw an ace four off. I don't love the spot, but I think it's a good spot, obviously. Okay. Yeah. Um, not the greatest hand. I agree with that. Uh, so we flop top pair. He checks to us. Um. I don't know if I should be betting or checking here. I don't know what's better. I think we could do both some of the time. Um, yeah, I just really don't know which one's better with a weak ace. Uh, me neither. Uh, so <laughs> how how likely... So if you check, how likely is he to do something that you really don't want him to do? Uh, very unlikely, I think. But I think you could say the same I mean, thing if you bet, though, as well. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, definitely. But yeah. Uh, well, the, there are two things I don't want him to do if I bet. I don't want him to check raise, obviously, but I also don't really want him to float flop and then bet river, and then me fold, and then jab yeah. river. Yep, true. I think um, there's a lot of value. There's a lot of merit to checking here to pot control. Um, Especially since we are the two bigger stack, two biggest stacks at this final table. What do you think about betting twelve k? Um, what's that? Betting two big blinds here, twelve k. Ash, can you get her out of here with the phone? I can't hear you. Hello. Yeah, can you hear me now? Yeah, I can. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think of betting twelve k? Um. Yeah, I think that's fine. I think um, I, I, if I do bet here, I would I would want to bet pretty small. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think 12K is reasonable. Why do you think it's good? Because I I don't want to bet big and have to fold. I don't want to have to bet fold to a check raise and bet big. Um, I would rather... I think betting 12K kind of accomplishes the same thing as betting like... 25k or, or 30k um, and I would rather risk less and I'm because I'm definitely bet folding if he raises mm -hmm. so here's the question if he has hands like think about hands of his range like the sword concrete like the hands that miss this board let's just chunk all those together like how much do you want to bet versus okay. king queens king jacks king tens ten nines and stuff yeah, 12k, mm -hmm. 15k, something like that. Um, you said you'd fold to a raise, but I like going 12k and calling a raise if he makes it small enough. 
is because yeah i mean if he clicks it i mean if he makes it 24k i'm not folding i think if he makes it 36 or 40 i'm gonna call and expect him to shut down on the turn hmm yeah like i don't see i don't know i don't see many people calling a three bet out of position check race bluffing flop and then jamming turn with like zero equity Yeah, I just don't know if it's his check raise is a bluff very often. Um, yeah, I, uh, actually, I take that back. I think it could be. Um, if you bet twelve k, it could be. Yeah, yeah. Like if he has jacks here or something, could easily turn it into a bluff. Um, nines, tens. So you just turn air into a bluff, just thinking you're full of shit because you bet twelve k and it pisses him off. King jack, king queen, yeah. And. They'll just take a stab, and they can make it pretty cheap, and uh, give up on the turn. And you might induce some floats from those hands too, as well. So. Mhm. Uh, yep. So I think twelve k. All right. Let's cool. see what I did. I did check. It's a nice turn. Going, going checks again. Great turn. Uh, good card to bet. He has a lot of kings in his range. Um. I like going like 28k here or 25k, I think. Yep. I like it. I like it. I went 30, which I think is okay. Yeah, I like it. We do get the call. And uh, when he checks to us here, I think we should just be checking back now. I think shoving river for value is pretty thin. It, um, it depends. So the thing that happens here with timing is that, especially deep in one, if the guy's one tabling, if he has an ace, he thinks about the turn. If he has a king, he snap checks. Um, so if, yeah, if he's... and he and I'm pretty sure he did. I, I this was just I mean I just played this six hours ago, so I, it's pretty fresh, and I think that he did snap check here. Yeah, so he almost always has a king. Or I think he could have like tens even. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, either so he has yeah, a king I, or so an I, ace you chop with. I think he must have that. Oh, he has diamonds. Ten jack of diamonds. That's a surprising snap check on the turn. Like, usually people think yeah. about betting a lot. No, no, I meant he snap checked the river. I, oh. I, don't, I don't know if snap checked the turn. Oh, yeah, turn, turns the turns the big deal. It's like the decision point in the hand, because if he has an ace, it's a tough spot on the turn, like whether to better check. Uh, with a king, it's a very easy check, I think. Mm-hmm. So if you snap check turn, you can bet river. If you time bank, bet. If you time banked, I think it's a lot closer. You're probably a check. Okay. Uh, this is gonna be a call. It's only only twenty five percent equity. So. That guy's super nitty. Probably has aces. Yeah. Uh, ace eight is um. It's probably the bottom of his range with two and a half bigs. <laughs> uh, I don't know if I call this. I'm, I bet you do, but I don't know if I do. Yeah, I reshove here, I think, um, which is the same thing basically as calling. Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, it is pretty thin, I think. Um, I mean, this guy does. This guy is opening more than anyone else at the table, though. Yeah. Uh, He's the only one that's like actually opening a reasonable amount. Everyone else is like seem to tighten up quite a bit. If you lose this hand, you're still second, which is good. You'll be second yeah. tips, so I don't know. I, yeah, if I lose, yeah. I think it's pretty close. I bet you could plug in some ranges where this is a fold, and you could plug in some ranges where it's a call. Yeah, I agree, and I think that based on the fact that he's RFIing more than anyone else, I just that's basically why I decided to just shove here. I don't think there's any um, range here where you show a huge profit. I don't think there's any range you give him. Like, any reasonable range where you show a big profit, though. Yeah, I agree. I don't think I show a huge profit, but I do think it's a, it's a small profit by shoving. Um, and, the, and just the fact that I'm still left with a pretty reasonable stack when I lose is... is yeah. That that coupled with his high RFI, I decided to just shove. Yeah, but when you win, it's I, fucking great too. You have all the chips. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So I did reshove. Yeah. I fold personally. South South the tournament is, but works. Yeah, I mean I think I think folding is definitely reasonable. Um, 
He has the king queen, so we get it in really good. Good man. Opening the king ten off. I bet that spot's really that. close because I called the ace queen on the button there, for sure. I call the ace queen. Yeah. That's how close I think it is. Yeah. Um, all right, you fold here, I assume. Yeah. The fold. This is just going to be a defend, I think, with five four off. Sure. Um. He's super nitty and he raises big, but I guess it's okay. Yeah. If I have like five three, I think I fold. If I have like nine deuce, eight deuce, something like that, I fold. But nine three, I fold. Um, being connected, I think this is like the bottom of my defending range here. Seems reasonable. Um, yeah, so I do call. Yeah. Flop two pair. Check, check. Um, what do you put him on when he checks flop? Over cards, ace king, ace queen. Um, yep. Maybe king queen, stuff like that. I don't think he ever should checking an over pair. Yep. So, I think he always just has like Broadway combos. Yeah, so just max value versus ace high here, I think. Yeah, and um, I think I decided to lead turn here, which I don't know. I don't think it's best, and I also don't like my sizing. Um, I think he folds think to that with ace high. So. Yeah, exactly. I don't think I targeted ace high in game. I don't think that I. Yeah, bet like had a good thought process. Bet twelve k target ace high because his, he only has four outs with his ace high, so you give him like pretty good yeah. outs. Um, you, yeah, you could also, I like that a lot better. Mm -hmm. Bet turn, small, check river, maybe induce a bluff. Call it off. Mm -hmm. Yep. I think that's definitely the best line. So, made a little mistake there with the sizing. I uh, just pile here on big line who has 10 bigs. Yep, good. Uh, he folds. I just... Uh, oh. Raise call. From oh, yeah, I, I could raise call here. Yep. Uh, yeah, race. I, I think race call is better. Um, I'm, I, I'm pretty confident that it's better than just shoving. Sure. Um, he just flats. I just had to check back here, which I think is interesting. I think I should probably be c betting here most of the time. I like betting seven k. Uh, you like what? I like betting seven k, but I'm not sure why. Seven k. <laughs> I think that I like going like 12k. Um, Meet in the middle. I think like it's 10K. easy. For him. Yeah, 10k is fine. Yeah, I, I think um, just a little bit bigger because betting 7k, like he should just be calling with any equity, uh, any gut shot, any over, two overs, or I guess like any one over. Mm. I don't know. I don't know. I think that. I mean, but th they probably will make mistakes and fold too much, even versus 7K. Um, yeah, I but, mean, yeah, I think we... I should bet that. His counter when you bet 7K is the check raise a lot, I think, and I don't think that's going to happen. Yeah. At least not, not as a bluff, you mean? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Even, like, with his jacks and queens, I like, don't think it's going to happen. Yeah, I agree. So, I... I, I um, decide to bet turn here after I didn't see that. Um, I think it's good. I think I should bet here. I think you could bet smaller. As played. Yeah? Uh, what do you think? Like 10? Yeah. Like, yeah. Either he has you completely crushed and he's going to call, or you're pretty far ahead and you can give him like better odds or whatever. I don't know. Whatever. 14k is fine. Yeah, I, I do like 10 though. I think you made some good arguments for that. And um, I'm just going to, when he checks river, I'm just checking back. I think I have plenty of showdown value. Um, I think that he could have a 5, an 8, a 6, uh, with like 6, 7 on the turn that he calls with. Um, so I think we're ahead of a lot of stuff, and there's no reason to bet. Agreed. Um, so he does have a 5, and we win. Boom. Such a boss. Uh, pile, yeah. easy pile here. Didn't you, weren't you Actually, on the button last time? And now you're small boy? Yep. That's cool. Yeah, we're missing some hands apparently. Um, this HUD, this HUD probably doesn't work perfectly, uh, obviously, as we've seen, but 
Yeah, so it's probably just skipping a bunch of hands, oh. which is... Alright, keep going. You gained a lot of chips, too. I wonder how that happened. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, we missed out on that. Out on that. Um, so, I mean, this guy with... I don't really know what's correct here with my whole range. Like, I don't know if I should just shove 100% <coughs> here, but I am going to in this spot. You should. I'm shoving 100%. You should shove um, 100%. Okay, yeah, I, I thought so. Uh, thank you for clarifying, or for verifying. Um, yeah, so we win, I think. Yeah, pair of nines beats eight high. Uh, yeah, my I think my PT4 is, like, frozen. Come on, oh, uh, there we go, okay. Um, yeah, the reason I paused is because I thought I remembered opening this. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I um, think it's good. I mean, small blinds, a fish, button is like yeah. pretty, has to wait for that guy to bust and he's being tight. Big blind probably sucks. Yeah. Just fucking raise. Yeah, I agree. Uh, I think that was my logic in game too. When, when button shoves, he's just super nutted, I think. Um, I just fold. Yep. This race turn. Oh, you jam. Just, just pile. Yeah, I mean, looking at stack sizes, I think it's pretty reasonable. Um, I like it. I think I like it best, actually. Um, but. Yeah, I guess. I mean, I'm just all, like, lower variance in these things just because they're so soft. Like, I think your edge is so huge, you have to just raise. But maybe I'm wrong. No, I mean, it's a good point. Uh, do you think you would, like, raise fold here? Or, like, raise call button, raise fold to the rest? Or? I'd raise call button, fold to the rest. Yeah. I considered that. Um, I just, I don't know. I, it feels like, I, I feel like I don't, I don't like raise folding a hand as strong as this. Although, versus players that are this, uh, they're not very good. And players that are this tight and aren't three bet, three bet shoving wide at all. I think that raise folding becomes pretty good yeah. versus the rest of them. Yeah. Um, jam is. If this was, a, I could say with like hundred percent. Go ahead. Sorry. I could say with like hundred percent confidence, jam's the best play if this was winning poker network or something, and like a fifty yeah. hundred dollar buy-in or something. Yeah, if it's a tough table, I think we should be jamming. But because these guys are so bad, I think that ra the the raise call the button play is probably a lot better. Yeah, I mean you're gonna be playing lots of tournaments like this, so being able to lower variance and play more pots with and take advantage of the fact they don't three bet is pretty cool i mean even yep. fucking button's gonna flat you and fold flops and shit you know so. i know it's 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 funny <laughs> um and this this is like it makes me want to play like this late night schedule every every time i play like i mean it's a pretty long grind when i'm still regging at 2 a.m but these 2 a.m tournaments seems like at the end people are just zombies almost yeah. like they just don't make good decisions at all and fold. so this one yeah I agree I think I did call here but I think it's a fold no no I call. bad call bad call but I bink because I'm running super hot nice. yeah definitely a fold yeah yeah, I mean, if that's, um, um, you know, if this is not a final table, or if this is not, you know, if you just made the money, or you're far away from the money, it's like a pretty decent call, or if these players actually had any clue what they're doing, um, you know, then it's a good fold, but a good call, but uh, definitely not a good call. Yeah, scenario. and... It I feel like I knew I should fold in game too, but I just called anyway. I don't know Did why. Did you do one of those? Well, uh, I probably shouldn't fold this because it's exploitable, but it feels like a fold. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, Which, after making a lot of mistakes in that area, I'd say always trust your instinct and just go with that. I know. I know. You're right. You're totally right. And I've, you know, I've been trying to lately, and it's helped me a lot. Um, but I still do that shit a lot too. Like I just go against my instinct a lot because of just like general theory stuff, mm -hmm. and that's a perfect example of it. Uh, like in theory, you shouldn't be folding there, but I mean, this is a very specific situation where it's an e should be an easy fold. Yeah, you redeem um, yourself I if think. you open queen seven here. All right, 
Oh, I do. I opened Queen 7. Totally redeemed <laughs> yourself. <laughs> and I'm going to pile here, I think. Yep. Yes, I am. It was an old school Dumb and Dumber reference. <laughs> <laughs> you remember we like. I, I missed it. He, he trades the van for like the small scooter. Oh, like, yeah. <laughs> Have you, have you seen the new one? The new dumb, the Dumber and Dumberer or whatever? Uh, no, I assume it's terrible. Uh, yeah, I do too. I haven't seen it. I, I'm sure it's probably pretty bad, but... Yeah, so just jam again. 10, 10 11 bigs in the blinds. Oh, um, new show you have to watch is uh, Billions on Showtime. Okay, Billions. I think I've heard of that, actually. It's with uh, Paul Giamatti and Damian Lewis. Uh, pretty good. It's definitely it's cool. it's a very smart show and it's it's hard to keep up with what's going on for me. Um, it's pro like probably like one of, it's like Game of Thrones kind of dense and pretty interesting. Oh okay cool. Uh, I have to find a way to pirate it. Game of Thrones isn't a good example. It's just it's it's very like complex and a lot of like moving parts at once. So. Okay. I've been watching The Wire. Oh uh, yeah. Recently, I just. I've never watched it before. I just started getting onto it, but that's I like that a lot too. Um, yeah, so I'm just open jamming like everything basically. Um, I think raise could be better, and, just given how bad small blind is and how bad big blind seems. But jam's good too. Yeah, I agree. I think raise fold is very reasonable um, with that hand. I think a bit weaker. I'd definitely raise fold though. Yeah. This one I decided to raise call. Um, I just ripped that one. Uh, we lose. I think you should rip that one. You just, yeah. Yeah, I, I think so too, actually. Um, let me go back real quick. Yeah. Whoops, wrong hand. First, these guys uh, just jam, try and get the max amount of folds, I think. Yeah, the, yeah, the thing about raising here is I don't really think these guys are going to reach up like ace eight when I raise, mm -hmm. even though they probably should. Yeah. Uh, they definitely should. I just don't think they will. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I think shove is better there. Yeah. This just, one is a shove. Yeah, it just puts you in weird spots. Like I don't even think you're ahead of big blinds range really. Like I don't even know if you have odds to call the big blind shove to be honest. With a ten. Yeah. Cause uh, he, yeah, that's he's true. so yeah. nitty. I wouldn't be shocked if he flats everything you beat. Yeah, that's a this nice one shove. is. I don't like this. I like it. I don't. Even with big blind stack size of twenty bigs. I don't know. I think it's. I think you have a lot of chips. You'd still be. Oh wait a minute. Yeah, you're right. You'd still well, be with in the, the with leader. the ICM. Mm -hmm. And with the ICM situation, big blind has to fold like. Oh, very often he has to have a very, very, very strong hand to call here. Cause yeah, I think. Look at the stacks. I think it's a great play. Um. Yeah. Cool. Shorty calls. Oh, whoops. What? What the hell just happened? I don't know. Oh, there we go. Short stack calls off. Come on. <laughs> you keep hitting the arrow key and nothing happens. And we lock, we lock box again. Yeah, it's a good shove, though. Good, yeah. good understanding uh, of the dynamics. Very small. Just limp here. Yeah, I think just a min raise here is like ideal. Um, I mean, I really think this guy could limp fold to like if I make it sixteen, seventeen k here. I think he could limp fold still. Mm -hmm. He's so tight. Um, yeah, so I think just min raise is best. I think that's a um, really solid adjustment or some. Cool. Seven uh, k here though. Nice. Yep. Nice. Yes, sir. Max value. And then I go fourteen. No. Oh, I went 21. I don't like that. Yeah, go like 14 turn. Yeah, I was. I said for I, I just I actually said I went 14 here because yeah. I was so I was so confident that I bet 14 on this turn and I didn't. Yeah. <laughs> um. So yeah, I think 14 is a much better sizing. Yep. Rip. Ah, uh, just jam. Yeah. Uh, just jam. Yeah. Get called with the seven deuce. Shit. And we lose. 
Uh, just gonna be piling again, I think. Oh wait, he has he has more chips now. Yeah, good um, race. I, yeah, I decided to race for old night. I finally started going a little bit bigger than min race here, uh, just to. I don't know. I guess just to make it so you can't just flat a lot. Yep, that's a good size. Um, I'd go nineteen twenty, but sure. Yeah, yeah. And then I'm gonna be c betting. I think yeah, with with King High on this paired to ace board, yep. take it down. Too easy. Uh, we get three bet, easy fold. Yeah, I like not jamming. It's a good play. Uh, this is a good defend. Yep. Flopping the flush draw is pretty cool. He checks it back. We turn the flush. Um, I decided to check again. What do you put up Which, on? I think he has like eights, nines, tens, ten jack, uh, queen jack, uh, something like that. I don't know if he could maybe have some kings, king ten or something, but I don't think he ever really has an ace. Don't have doesn't have that many kings. I don't think. Uh, so weak, like medium strength, some showdown value sort of range. Yeah, you might have some queen x. You might want to. It's just is he going to bet a jack on the turn? Is he going to bet a king on the turn? Is he going to be betting tens to eights on the turn? That's the question. Let me check. Yeah. Uh, my answer is mm. I don't know, but I know he'd call a pretty small bet on the turn for sure. Yeah. True. Good point. Yeah, I think uh, I think that um, a bet is probably much better on the turn. Yeah, so I think your mistake here is either not ranging him or not asking, you know, what's the best play versus like those hands in his range. Yep, I think that I'm, I'm um, I think I did range him. I just don't think I identified the best play versus his range because I'm I'm pretty sure I I yeah had a good feeling feel for his range here. Mm -hmm. uh, so I just bet pretty small on the river and get a fold. Take that down. Good raise. Um, I think this is a jam if folded two. Yep. Uh, huh, I decided to raise fold, I guess. Yeah, too small. Just jam or raise bigger. Yeah. Agreed. Jam here. I think you can raise fold that one. Yeah, I think that's a lot better raise fold than the 7-4. Mm -hmm. I think I should jam the 7-4 and raise fold this. Yep. We lose. Yeah, you have to play these tournaments very weird. You know, when you feel in control and command of the table, just kind of have to take these raise lines, especially when they're not 3-betting. Yeah. Yeah, it feels strange, like, because fundamentally... Like I, I, if I'm putting myself in villain's shoes, a lot of the plays I'm making fundamentally shouldn't really work. Yeah. Uh -huh. But they just, but they work like the best. They're like the best plays. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's very far uh, away it's, it's from just, fundamentals. Yeah, it's it's very interesting. Um, let's see here. I think this is a raise fold. Yeah. Too small. Uh, don't don't like the min raise. Yeah. I think I I remember in game I started out going like eighteen nineteen k with that first bet once we got three handed, mm -hmm. and then I I remember thinking to myself like this guy has been overfolding this whole final table so I wonder if I remember thinking like I wonder if I min raise if he's just still gonna fold way too much blind versus blind, and then I think I did it I did it a few times now so hopefully by now I should be realizing that I sh that I shouldn't be using that sizing. Um, I mean, he's playing really shitty and folding a lot, so <laughs> maybe it's good. I mean, so far you raised yeah, his I blind think... three times and min raised three times, and he's folded either flop or pre-flop. So. Yeah, okay. I think the min raise on the button is is much better. Mm -hmm. um, just being in position for a slot, but I do like. I think exploitatively, okay, maybe the min raise blind versus blind is fine just because this guy's playing so badly, but even still, I think going like 19k is just probably going to be a little better. Yeah. But 24? I don't know. Nice. Good race. A little bit bigger, I think, but whatever. Yeah. I got you. 
I think we could split the difference, go like 22. I think you could check okay. those hands and just raise like the bottom 10% or something. Bottom 10, bottom 20%, actually. And the and the top too? Yeah. Ra raise the top and the bottom? Yeah. yeah. That's a better play. Yeah, I, I agree with that. Yeah. Um, did I go 16 again here? Yeah, I did. Well, it's worked every time, so... I mean, he's just going to be check. It's kind of cool because he's just going to be folding the flops all the time. But so I see that uh, two overs with a cut shot get called. Uh, hair hair on the turn doesn't really change much for me. Um, I just check fold. I think he probably has pretty strong hand here. Um, could have some flush draws, I guess, that are just naked flush draws, but. Most of the time, I think he's going to have at least a pair, uh, over pairs. Um, I strongly disagree with that range. Like, six. I think he can have threes in his range. I think he could have sixes in his range. I think he could have eights in his range. I think he could have ace highs in his range, king highs in his range. Um, I think he could easily be at the point where he's fed up with you yep. betting so much and just wanting to take one kind of stab. So... Um, I would range them yeah. much differently, and I wouldn't hate if you bet turn with that hand, two overs and a gutter. Okay, yeah, that's a good point, actually. he's. This is the first time he's floated flop, and I've been just taking down his... On his big blind, I've just been, like, c-betting and winning every single time, so... Yeah, I'm, yeah, I actually think this... I actually think, because of the dynamic, I think this is actually a really good turn to barrel in this spot. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I think I missed a barrel there. Yeah, it's close. I think you could bet. I think, I think just raging him and correct. I think his range could be really tight, like you say, but I think it could also be really, really wide too. Like his range varies a ton here. Yeah. Yeah, I think just based on the dynamic of the of this situation too, like without even thinking about ranges, uh, I guess that's kind of a fishy thing to say, but. Mm -hmm. I think, yeah, just based on the dynamic, it it's, seems like a double barrel would be pretty sexy here and work a lot. Yeah, especially because um, you lost a few pots. Um, I don't know if you noticed, but when you are playing loose and losing, everyone wants mm -hmm. to play pots with you and try and beat you. Um, it's just a psychological yeah. thing. Um, and that's kind of what's been happening. I think you went from like 500k to 400k. And the past yeah. so many hands and had some race folds and shit. Um, so I think he's a bit more inclined to play play at you. And one one other thing that I should mention that's probably that probably isn't really relevant at this point now that we're three handed, but like right before we we started reviewing, so probably like within the twenty hands before we started looking at these was the hand where I three bet shoved like king three off with six bigs mm -hmm. <laughs> um and one and so after the, after that hand the immediate next hand i i uh i think i i either jammed or called a jam with a six or a seven um oh i think what i did was so I, I won the king three off and then immediately the next hand i raised called like a six off versus the same guy who got it i got in with versus the king three and he he was like super short, but based on those two hands, I looked like an absolute maniac yeah. to the whole table. Yeah. If anyone's paying attention, um, but no one really seemed to adjust to that at all. Um, I mean, they they still just were folding to me, just like I mean, you saw it. Mm -hmm. uh, e even after those two maniac hands in a row, I still was like getting folds all the time, like you know, getting through, and it didn't seem like they adjusted at all to it. So. It's, I don't it's hard to say. It's hard to know when, like, people are going to adjust and just hit a breaking point and just be like, enough is enough, you know? Because you've been raising every yeah, fucking hand, three-handed. It's a lot easier live to, to tell that. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of impossible on here. Um, yeah. Just going to defend here, I think. Yep. Doesn't see that. I lead turn. Calls. Bet river. Have to bet river with your image. What'd you, what'd you, you say? Have to bet, ri river? bet river with your image. Yeah. I don't know why I check. I think that's really bad. I think that we get value from nines. We get value from like 
pocket eights if he has that in his range. Uh, yep. Yeah. Uh, we could value on ourselves sometimes versus better jacks and stuff, but yeah, I think we yeah. need to bet. You check call a bet anyways if he has a better jack, so. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, good point. Yep. Yeah, bad. Bad Doug. Bad Doug. Correct. <laughs> All right, so the problem with this Queen 3 open is, like, so there's these diminishing returns of, like, metagame. So, like, every raise you put in kind of, like, diminishes the value of future raises. So, like, do you remember when we were talking rock, paper, scissors, and I asked, like, what's the optimal strategy versus someone who's playing, like, uh, forty percent rock, thirty percent paper, and thirty percent scissors. Um, not really. All right. So <laughs> to be honest, so like the the maximum, like if someone's playing forty percent rock, thirty percent paper, thirty percent scissors, basically just throw paper every single time, right? Because he's most likely to throw rock. Does that make sense? Well, I I get I get what you're saying, and I understand that. The more I keep opening like very wide, they're gonna st tend to get fed up and tend to adjust to that. But on the other hand, um, I think this is a specific situation where they should adjust, but they're just not. Um, maybe I'm wrong about that. But so far, they aren't. Um, it's it. It seems like they're just not going to at all. At, at um, some point, so think, if you're playing someone at rock paper scissors and you throw paper like 50 times in a row. And nothing else <laughs> like they're gonna adjust you know what i mean so yeah but what if you all but w what if all you have to do is fold to make like 200 more dollars um yeah i mean i think that that's kind of the mindset a lot and uh, like what if you i mean you can't fold in rock paper scissors so i can't think of an analogy but <laughs> yeah it's, it's, uh, it's a much more complex game i would just say like taking like a thin raise if you think this raise is thin and just small shows a small profit in a vacuum like this one hand you probably shouldn't mm -hmm. take it because it might lose you money in the long run and like future sure hands. yeah and i think i think based on this this dynamic i think that that definitely is valid but i think that a hand I would fold here is much weaker than Queen Three. I think it would be like Jack Deuce or something like that, maybe. Okay, that's um, fine. Um, if yeah. you think this is like a very profitable raise, take it. I just don't think you should be taking any close spots that you don't have to. Yep. Yep. I think that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Yes. Ah, uh, what's his stack? I kind. Uh, I jam. I don't know what I like here. I like, I kind of like, uh, what about just three betting smaller? I don't think you induce, like, light four bets, but you get to see flop, I guess, out of position. And, I don't know, you jam. I think if I, I think, I mean, this is the guy that I, I've been uh, opening all his buttons and, like, just taking down a lot of pots against him. <laughs> I think maybe if I three bet to, like, 50k or 48k or something, he might shove one or two hands that he would fold if I just jam, like ace-jack, maybe. Maybe he's sick of me, and he's just gonna... I don't know. It's it's pretty close. It depends how the flop's gonna play out, too. So I'm not really sure. Yeah. Um, I think both... I don't know. I don't, I don't... I'm very unsure what I like better here. I really... I don't know. I I um, just jam personally and three bet with like a bigger hand to like a smaller size. What do you, what do you what do you three bet with? You like, said to a smaller like size. Jacks plus perhaps ace king suited or something. What about uh, if you're if you're three betting smaller with that range? What about also three betting smaller like a couple of ace x bluffs that you're three bet folding? Uh, does that make any sense, or are you just I, all value? I three bet trash here too, just like uh, yeah. pretty yeah. bad hands. Yeah, because I think we have quite a bit of fold equity with three bet too, yep. which then which makes me think then we should just jam ace king. <laughs> yeah, I think it's just jam ace king. Um, I did like I think the worst, which is like uh, I think that if I'm gonna non all in three bet, it should be quite a bit smaller than this. Yeah, I don't. I don't um, know. 
Yeah, he just folds, but... Alright, I have to go pick up I mean, he's, he's my fun. daughter from school. Okay. Alright, so this was our last session, man. Alright, um, I apologize for being late. I'm an asshole. Um, thanks for thanks for still doing it with me. Appreciate it. Yeah, this has uh, been fun. Let me know if you want more sessions. Definitely enjoyed, enjoyed it a lot. Um, hope you continue yeah. doing really well. Yeah, man. Uh, I appreciate you um, giving me the deal and everything. Uh, it was very helpful for me, and um, I would love to book some more sessions sometime in the future when I'm a little more financially stable. Um, but yeah, it's been really good. So, so thank sell you. some drugs. <laughs> I'll just do them if I have the, if I have drugs. <laughs>